Guess what guys? Harp is blasting once again. It's like a microwave without an audible sound. It's a humming in the inner ear. We have fog. It's like a fog over the city right now. This is a fog and it's a dry fog. So I'm surprised with this kind of fog, it's a cloud cover, sort of a fog. It's not a, very, it's not a thick fog, but we definitely can't see uh, through this fog. And I've been noticing lately, when we have this type of fog, uh, typically the harp will go off. The harp is not necessarily the harp that people associate with the high oral active research program in Kokona, Alaska. Basically, the technology has has whatever branched off into X-band radar in the NORAD uh, weather control system. Um, it also may be related to the technology to um, warn uh, the military against uh, external forces. It, in this case, I believe that the they're doing experiments basically on the people with this system. Um, now it is like 1:30, 2 o'clock right now, and typically this is when the uh, the uh, X-band radar, NORAD, harp frequencies take off. Um, I believe they started a little bit early. It could be, could have been when this fog rolled in. And this evening I noticed uh, sort of a fog bank coming in off the coast. I didn't think much of it because it's typically been this way for the last three days. I uh, put a couple of videos up about uh, keeping you in the dark and this is basically what they'll do is we haven't been seeing very many uh, overt direct flyovers in the last probably at least a week. We've been seeing a lot of these kind of fog banks roll in off the coast and typically that's how they do it um, they will spray heavily off the coast which is right out in front where we're looking right now and you can see the light you might be able to see the light the reflection of the light of the fog of the particulate matter above these lights it's kind of like a small halo around above these lights. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's basically what I can see. And so what this stuff does, basically, these particulates are, when they get uh, in the body, basically they are sort of like little transceivers, transmitters, whatever, receivers that will that can easily receive these frequencies that they are broadcasting. And for those who are not familiar with X-band radar, the harp technology, the NextRad, NORAD uh, technology, um, Typically, what they will do is they will heat and or cool certain uh, areas of the ionosphere around the globe to produce weather events. They can create high and low pressure zones. They can disperse or condense the moisture in the air. Now we are starting to get a little bit of wind now. Uh, just 
probably about a 10 mile an hour wind, maybe a five mile an hour wind just started. And so anyway, yeah, so for the last week or so, we've been having these these fog banks, cloud banks, roll in and then basically cover us. And then I will typically hear the jets fly over. And once they've laid this cloud cover, you cannot you cannot see them fly over. I I hear them quite a bit. But you cannot see them. So we have this cloud cover this artificial cloud cover, artificial haze, typically made of barium, strontium, coal ash, sulfur, um, aluminum, nanoparticulates. And once these particulates are inhaled, basically over time, they uh, act as receivers for the frequencies. And basically, if you uh, haven't read or heard about the book by Dr. Nick Baggage, um, these frequencies can be used to induce emotional states and thought patterns. It's like a brainwave frequency. And so, and what, what it also does is it uh, the effect, the effects that I've been feeling have been uh, it's like there's a band around my brain, the top part of my brain, and the band is tight. Um, and it's either because of the barium, str uh, strontium, and or Fukushima radiation that each morning for probably the last three years I wake up, I have burning eyes, burning throat, and uh, yeah, so the theory is it's causing mutations and uh, basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to create these mutations of sort of uh, a master sort of race that they are able to uh, easily brainwash and get them to work as slaves uh, which reminds me about the whole Nibiru uh, Anunnaki uh, theory about how uh, a certain race um, uh, from another planet basically seeded humans on earth to mine the gold and so the way I look at it is the system in place right now has got people programmed basically to work for them there's like this whole system of propaganda brainwashing to play this game to be entertained by Hollywood to to work for that system whether they realize it or not they're just they're just working for that system and the wisdom of their forefathers is not passed not being able to be passed down because they basically lost the wisdom of their heritage um, through this systematic brainwashing by the system. The fluoride in the water hardens uh, the intuitive part of the brain. The 
uh, nanoparticulates of the so-called geoengineering sprays in our air, they all act synergistically to make the body, make the brain intuition more sort of robotic-like, less sensitive. So basically the sensitive parts of our body are being numbed down to be um, more like robot, a robot. Uh, and so that's basically what they're trying to do. Now, I heard something uh, about Fukushima and how uh, Fukushima was all planned. There are probably different motives. One was the Japanese were, or the, yeah, the Japanese were selling uranium to the Iranians and or somebody and somebody didn't like it set off a earthquake weapon and so we have the fallout from Fukushima particularly here on the west coast of California and like I said it's for the last probably three to four years it's been pretty intense you know I've been an outside person and you could tell by the many videos I've made about the so-called geoengineering sprays above um, I started about four years ago video documenting the chemtrail spraying um, a lot of the people I talk to about it have no idea about it and particularly the my local representatives, uh, congressmen, board of supervisors, they uh, either pretend not to know about it or don't know about it. So, yeah, and I called up the EPA uh, the other day and ask them about uh, the spraying that's going on and basically uh, they gave me a quote contrail hotline to call and when I called the quote contrail hotline there was a recorded machine on it said we do not know anything about any jets spraying anything please refer to our website regarding contrail formation and so that's the EPA they don't want to talk about this my local uh, air quality management people say that well if it's coming from the sky they don't have any jurisdiction and so th these are the people who issue the burn permits and take um, complaints from the citizens here on the ground about whatever smells um, and air quality um, and pollution generated by the people here on the land. They're, they have no jurisdiction over what is sprayed in the air. It's called the North Coast Air Quality Management District, I believe is what they call it. And they will not touch the geoengineering subject at all and neither will the EPA and the EPA and they actually referred me the North Coast Air Quality Management District referred me to the EPA and the EPA has a recorded hotline 
We do not know anything about any spraying, any jet spraying, anything, etc. And so we have a covert program going on right now um, and it's it's very disconcerting so yeah it's it uh, it's kind of hard to sleep with this noise going off in your ear uh, like I said before it's it's kind of like a microwave the hum of a microwave it's kind of like you're going up a hill you're driving up a hill whatever taking a flight and your ears are about to pop you feel the pressure in your ears but in this case the ears never pop they just they just are under that pressure they have that pressure and they're vibrating is what's happening basically and so yeah it's uh it's nerve-wracking so you've heard a lot of this before um, I don't always come out and make these videos um, but and I notice standing out here in the open I basically um, I do not particularly hear the humming frequency of the the NORAD X-band radar microwave frequency. Um, I do feel the pressure slightly in my ears, and if you look here, you can see that. I don't know if you can see that or not, but. Well, we don't, there's no moisture on these, there's no moisture on the ground at all. But we do have particulates falling uh, in the air. If you can follow the line of this light, you can see that the little flashes in between are basically they're basically particulates falling, uh, falling from the sky. I don't know if you can see that or not. The, the small flashes well, you probably can't see that. Anyway, lost the camera here, but Yeah, that's what's going on. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep. I've got I've got a pretty bad bad headache. The I believe the uh, the heavy metal metal particulates are building up in my system pretty heavily. I uh, could probably uh, benefit by fast, but occasionally. Uh, the heavy, I can feel the heavy metals in my body, so basically, uh, in my case, it's, it's like a, a band around the top of my head, and, uh, it's like a tight band around the top of my head that actually seems to, uh, seems to vibrate with the sort of sound of a microwave humming. Now here we have some street people coming by and it's what 2.30 a.m. And so these street people are probably hard to say. 
but uh, they're sort of traveling in groups, probably so they don't get harassed, which is a good thing. And so it's very likely that they can't sleep either because of the um, the harp. NORAD X-band radar frequencies that are being broadcast in the air right now. You can't normally hear them in the radio occasionally. I do pick up certain things in the radio. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty intense tonight. Well, that's my report for tonight. Thanks for watching, and so be aware, and... I'm out.